Hi, welcome to JavaScript coding interview series. In today's video, we had to find the output of the code provided here and we had to provide a valid reason why we have selected this particular answer. So the question is, we have a const array, okay, const r, and here actually we are creating an array of length 2 and in that we are uh, calling a fill method okay that which is available in the array dot prototype and in that we are actually passing an empty object okay and on this uh, const ar uh, array variable we are trying to uh, on the first index we are trying to uh, add a product key and in that we are uh, passing the value laptop and we have to print the array that we have created okay and there are four options the first option is an uh, array with two objects and in the two objects the content is the same that is product and uh, key is product and value is laptop and in the second index also the key is product and the value is laptop and the second option is an array the first uh, uh, first value is an empty array empty object and the second is an object with key uh, product and the value laptop and we have the third option which is having an array of two objects the first is uh, having a key of product and the value is product and the second is having a key of laptop and the value is laptop and the fourth is a syntax error so please try from your end and see what is the output so let's try from our end and see what is the output of this particular question okay so for now i am just console i'm just uh, commenting out this particular console okay and i am uh, writing the script in the test.js uh, file and this one i am calling it in the uh, this script is being called from the index.html so let me run this okay so now i am running this and i will open the uh, console okay so now it is running and i have opened the console and will uh, capture the output over here so let's go one by one okay in the test.js so first is a const r and here actually we are trying to create an array of two okay so let's print that okay okay so it is an empty uh, so you can see that the length is 2 and it is an empty value okay on that actually we are what we are trying to do we are trying to fill that with empty objects okay so what fill will do is uh, it changes all the array elements from start to end index to a static value and returns the modified array okay so as per mtn uh, what fill method will be doing it will be changing all the array elements to a static value based on the start and end index value okay if it is not given okay so start index uh, default value will be 0 and end index uh, default value will be array dot length okay array dot length so in this case uh, it will be 0 and array dot length is uh, 2 and what it will do it will be returning the modified array okay so what it fill uh, fill method is doing it is a mutator method so length will be the same but content will be altered okay so that is the way it is working and if the start is provided and if it is negative then array dot it will be considering uh, start value as array dot length plus start similarly if the end is negative then it will be array dot length plus end so these are some uh, other uh, use cases of fill okay so in this case actually we are not providing the start and end value so it will be defaulted to zero and the array dot length so it will be returning the modified array okay now if the first parameter is an object okay each slot in the array will reference that object so this is very important so if the first parameter is an object each slot in the array will reference that object so in this case actually we are trying to empty that right empty uh, this one so all the uh, elements initially it was like array of two which is empty okay now we are trying to fill with an empty object so let's see the output of this so that will be reference okay so now you can see here both are empty objects so even though we are trying to fill it as an uh, one item but it will be filled everywhere and what happens on that fill is uh, it will be each slot in the array will be referencing that object okay and the fill method fills empty slots in sparse arrays 
with values as well okay whenever it is not given it will be uh, filling with empty slots so that's regarding fill okay so now we are uh, having an array with two empty objects within that array okay now what we are trying to do we are trying to uh, okay we are trying to uh, in the first index we are trying to have a key of product and uh, with the value laptop so in this case what will happen is the first index will be having a key uh, product and laptop the key will be product and the value will be laptop but as per this mdn what it says is uh, this fill method each slot in the array will reference that object so because of that when we are trying to console dot log of array okay whatever value is there in the uh, first index so the zeroth index also will be referencing referencing to that so once the first index gets updated to a key of product and laptop the same value will be updated in the zeroth index as well okay so now let's see so in that case what will happen is if i try to print that so now you can see that the same value whatever is there in the first index okay where the key was product and the value was laptop the same value is getting updated in the uh, zeroth index as well because the reference whatever value it is there in that slot right so that will be uh, in, in a reference point and that value gets updated for all the uh, items okay within that array so if i try to increase that to uh, array of 5 and what will happen it will be referencing to the same value and uh, the same value gets populated in all the uh, areas so whatever value is there in the first index so that the reference will be the same and the key value will be pair up updated for all the other uh, index as well okay within that array so this is the way how fill works and okay so you have to remember this particular this is very important each slot in the array will reference that object okay now okay so so with that the answer would be option a where it is having an array with the same key value pair in the each empty uh, object okay so the answer is op option a so i think uh, you got an idea about the fill method so thanks a lot for watching that's it for today's video